Alright, a train pulls out of a station and accelerates steadily uh, for 20 seconds until its velocity reaches 8 meters per second. It then travels at constant velocity for 100 seconds and then it decelerates steadily to rest in a further time of 30 seconds. Sketch a velocity time graph for the journey. Okay, so this question is almost similar like uh, the question before. Uh, but it has addition of part B and C. Okay, uh, part A, uh, I think I don't need to discuss um, detail. Okay, you just look at the example before. Yeah. Uh, okay. So first of all, uh, here we have how many parts here? Uh, pulls out of a station, uh, accelerate steadily. Pulls out of station. That means uh, it's just started to move. The initial velocity is zero. Okay. Initial velocity is zero, accelerate steadily. Uh, so has acceleration uh, for 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds, the time until velocity reaches this is the final velocity. Uh, uh, 8 meter per second. So this is the first part, and then it travels at constant velocity for 100 seconds, and then it decelerates to rest. So at constant velocity, that means acceleration is zero, and then decelerate. Uh, decelerate uh, so you put a negative here uh, because we, we always regard the velocity is positive here so decelerate means a must be negative okay that means the a acceleration and velocity must be opposite direction okay um, decelerate to rest that means the final velocity here is zero okay and the time is uh, 30 seconds so let's draw the displacement time graph okay let's let's draw it out okay uh, it should be around this one okay Draw the axis, okay. Draw the axis, okay. Uh, put it a bit downwards. Now, um, velocity. This is a we need a velocity time graph. Velocity time graph means uh, yeah, VT graph, okay. Velocity time graph, okay. This uh, this uh, velocity versus time. So the velocity unit is uh, what? What is the unit for velocity? Uh, velocity unit is a uh, meter per second, not centimeter. It's meter, so we should put as a uh, meter per second. Need to write the unit, ah, uh? uh, meter per second, and then time is second. Okay, so yeah, let's continue. So uh, at the first part, look at the first part. Uh, it's pulls out of the station. That means pulls out of station. That means start from zero velocity. And then accelerate steadily. I mean, uh, constant gradient. Okay, accelerate actually is the gradient of the graph because a is actually uh, dv over dt. It's the gradient of the graph. The gradient is constant because it says steadily means a constant gradient. Anyway, the velocity increase. Okay, but we can see from here velocity actually increases uh, until become eight. Until velocity become eight. So velocity increase until eight. Uh, velocity increase until 8 uh, for how many 20 seconds so we need to put here 20 seconds so uh, let's draw it let's draw it okay from here up to here yeah yeah hopefully i'm correct yeah so just put right a little bit here yeah ah so this is the uh, first part okay Acceleration, uh, accelerate, pause, accelerate, okay. And then uh, the second part is travel at constant speed. Uh, that means velocity become constant. Velocity become constant. Oh, sorry. Need to choose a blue color. Okay, and then uh, constant velocity. Yeah, constant. Ah, I, sorry. I think just draw it out. So constant velocity, okay, constant velocity. For how long? For how long is it? For 100 seconds. So 100 seconds. Is it correct that we write here 100? Is it here 100? No, because this 100 second begin after the 20 second. That means we need to, uh, we need to use 100 plus 20. Uh, 100 plus 20 uh, this duration is 100 second understand or not uh, so 100 plus 20 so 120 okay maintain a constant speed uh, here here accelerate here accelerate here uh, 
uh, constant velocity, Z acceleration zero, and then it decelerate, uh, it decelerate. So, you know, the acceleration actually is the gradient of the graph, yeah? Uh, decelerate, so let's draw out the decelerate part, that means the velocity decrease. Uh, velocity decrease. I'm oh, sorry, velocity decrease. Let's draw out. Ah, I just draw with my own hand. Velocity decrease. Okay. Ah, so here decelerate. Ah, so the gradient here is a uh, uh, gradient uh, is acceleration. Yeah. Ah, so decelerate. Velocity decrease. So um, yeah. Uh, the, the velocity decrease to zero finally become zero yeah as you can see velocity is zero it start it start from zero velocity accelerate then maintain at eight meter per second top speed and then decelerate until velocity back to zero uh, so what I, what I can what you can see is uh, from this this line okay, actually this line here that means the x axis means it's not moving you understand or not here means velocity zero means the is not moving or it's uh, stopped. Uh, when the graph go back when the graph go back go go back to the x axis means the the car stop. Uh, the car stop the train stops or not moving. Here is not moving and here it go come back to stop means it's not moving. Uh, here is moving at high the highest speed uh, top speed. But no acceleration, yeah. But it moving at high speed, the higher speed. Okay, when you go back, the graph go back to the time axis, the x axis. Uh, the the train stops. Okay, the train stops. Okay, that's the velocity time graph. You might already label. Okay, with the value. Now calculate the acceleration and distance traveled in each part of the journey. Okay, so he want each part. Each part that means I need to break it off. I have the first part. Yeah, this is the first part, this is the second part, and this is the third part. So now I want to find, okay, let's uh, focus our uh, first part. Okay, so our first part, what is, the, what is the acceleration? We need to find two things. We need to find acceleration and distance traveled. Okay, so acceleration. Okay, let's find out our acceleration, our first part. Let's put it as A1, okay? So to find acceleration, acceleration is the dvdt is dvdt uh, dvdt the gradient of the graph yeah or called gradient of velocity time graph yeah as you learned before yeah uh, the acceleration is the gradient of velocity time graph the gradient the gradient is it the triangle is the acceleration dvdt uh, uh, okay. A gradient so find acceleration the gradient so what's the gradient let's find out the gradient so it is um uh eight final minus initial fi final minus initial and then time also final minus initial okay so what's the answer yes it is a uh, 0 0.4 uh, meter per second square okay that's a1 now uh let's find the Distance travel. Distance travel is displacement. Uh, displacement. So the distance travel uh, is the area under the graph. Still remember? Still remember our uh, area under area under the velocity time graph is the displacement. Uh, in displacement. Uh, okay. So let's find the displacement. Okay. So put as S1. Uh, S1 is equal to the area. Uh, area of the velocity time graph. So area. Let's find out the area. Huh? Area that means uh, this part. Yeah, I need to uh, just yeah highlight it. Uh, the area of this part. Yeah, find this area. Uh, the area is the uh, you know the area is the displacement. Uh, so the triangle. Let's find out the triangle. So area half. Um, you know, uh, eight times twenty. Eight times 20 so what is the answer so i got uh, this one 10 so 80 meter so it has traveled 80 meter uh, the area is 80 meter 
okay, for the first part. Then the second part, for the second part, all right, let's, the second part, how about the acceleration? Ah, acceleration is zero, A2, it is zero meter per second square because it moves at constant velocity. Ah, the gradient, look at the gradient, the gradient is zero, it's a horizontal line. The gradient is zero because horizontal line. Uh, so gradient acceleration is zero. Okay, gradient is zero. Uh, all right. Then uh, how about the the velocity? Eh, no, the the displacement. Displacement is the area under the under the velocity time graph. Area. So uh, look at this area. Okay, this area. So which area? Which area is it? Ah, this area, I mean this area, understand or not? Ah, we need the area, we need to find this area. So how big is this area? Triangle. So it's 8 times 100. Uh, 120 minus 20, which is 100. Okay, 8 times 100. Uh, so, okay, 8 times 100. So it's um, 8 times 100, uh, which is uh, 800 meter. Uh, okay. 800 meter, uh, that's correct, 800 meter. So, that's the distance traveled. Now, how about the last part? Uh, what's the gradient? The gradient is the acceleration. Uh, so, let's look at the third part. Okay, third part. Uh, third part, um, A3. Uh, it's also the gradient again. The gradient, what's the gradient? Uh, gradient of the graph is, uh, take the final minus initial. Final is 0 minus 8. Uh, 0 minus 8. Uh, uh, always, uh, always take the final minus initial. Find, uh, time also final minus initial. Don't go to, don't, don't go to initial minus, oh, sorry, sorry, wrong. Uh? Uh, time. Uh, don't go to initial minus final and then below is uh, final minus initial. Uh, don't, uh? this is wrong. The sequence must always uh, follow. If top is uh, initial, final minus initial, then below also must final minus initial. Uh, don't go to uh, you you or you also can take initial minus final below also initial minus final. Okay, you must maintain the sequence. Okay, so right now I'm using final minus initial, which is zero minus eight, zero minus eight, and then um, this is oh I haven't write the so uh, what's the final time? Huh? It decelerate in further 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. So don't you go to right here 30 ah? Don't ah? 30 seconds that means uh, it takes another 30 seconds here. That means the total time is 150. Uh, after uh, 120, another 30 is 150. Uh, so it is um, so it is uh, hand, uh, final time minus initial time, which is 150 minus 120. 150 minus 120 which is 100 which is 30 lah uh, okay so it's a negative 8 divided by 30 so what's the answer let's calculate uh, let's calculate so i got it uh, negative uh, negative uh, because decelerate yeah actually negative doesn't really mean decelerate yeah it just means opposite uh, the direction to the left yeah it decelerates because the acceleration is opposite direction to the velocity. Uh, okay, bear in mind. Uh, I already explained this in the concept videos okay, about acceleration and velocity. Okay, so 267 uh, uh, meter per second square. Uh, this is the A3. Uh, okay, uh, A must have a negative. Yeah. And then uh, that's the acceleration. Now, how about the displacement taken? The area uh, taken the area of velocity time graph. So, what's the area? The triangle. Okay, the triangle again. Yeah, the triangle here. Uh, let's calculate the triangle here. The area is uh, half plus, uh, times 8 times 30. Okay, uh, it is uh, half times 8 times 30. So I get uh, half times eight times thirty. So which is um, ah is hundred twenty meter ah uh, hundred twenty meter. So what you can uh, is it correct? Let's let's check the answer. 
Uh, the first part is uh, 0 0.4 and 80, that's correct. And then second part is 0 and 800, that's correct. Okay, uh, 0, okay, 0 and 8, that's correct. And finally, the third part is negative 0, 2, 7. 0, 0, 2, 7. Yeah, correct. Or, and 120, 120 meter. Correct. Okay. That's gradient for acceleration and area for displacement. Because this is a velocity time graph. Okay, now, last question. See, the question asks for um, uh, average velocity for the whole journey. For the whole journey. So, for this certain period of time again what's the uh, average velocity means velocity for certain period of time certain period of time so for the whole period of time so what's the answer for c for question c uh, for the whole journey so average velocity for the whole journey that means from um, from uh, zero uh, for the whole journey journey means from whole zero to 120 50 second uh, from zero second from zero second up to 150 seconds so the average velocity uh, average velocity is total displacement over total time taken uh, total take the total displacement divided by total time taken uh, so total displacement is you know, uh, how long, how far already? How far already? Uh, if, if you can see, uh, this one is a uh, displacement positive value. Yeah, if you can see here, this is a uh, both all are uh, uh, positive displacement, positive displacement, positive displacement. That, that means, uh, talking about first, third, and second part, first, second, and third part, uh, all of them moving to the right, all of them moving to the right. Uh? Uh, what I can say is, uh, from zero to twenty second, uh, it move. Okay, uh, maybe I draw below here. Uh, yeah, from here, uh, from uh, here to here, S one is eighty meter. This is the origin. Okay, origin. Uh, and then uh, moving to the right, and then moving to the right again. This is S two eight hundred meter. Okay. Ah. Uh, and then moving to the right also because all of them are positive displacement you see that so that means they are all moving to the right okay uh, and then moving to the right again uh, uh, 120 meter uh, so what's the total displacement yeah it didn't turn backward yeah it turned, didn't turn backward. it all moved to the right because all velocity positive huh? so what's the total displacement uh, it is uh, just take the uh, S1 plus S2 plus S3 uh, which is uh, and then the total time taken is 150 second 150 second uh, so which is um, let's calculate 80 plus 120 oh, no 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 uh, sorry 80 80 plus uh, 800 plus 120 120 uh, and then divided by 150 so what's the answer uh, 80 plus 800 plus uh, 120 and divided by 150 is uh, equal to uh, yeah so the average velocity is 6.67 uh, meter per second is the unit correct meter per second yes it's correct meter per second yeah so is the answer correct average velocity is 6.67 meter per second that's correct huh? so average velocity is for the whole journey you take the total displacement divided by total time taken Okay, so that's all for these questions.